I saw my boy across the bar tell some girl he travels for work. That man delivers pizza. But you know what, Donnie Electric? He's not being dishonest. What's up guys and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien and today we're looking through r slash Madlands. You have the ability to raise something by 0.1%. How do you cause the most chaos? Pi. <gasps> Hacksaw Jim Duggan, you wouldn't. Your 2020 campaign slogan is your name plus 2020 plus the last text you sent. Mine? Trip 2020. Yay. Speezy 2020. You're a piece of crap but I can prove it mathematically. Lee 2020. Good morning. This is my debut stand-up album. I registered it as a jazz album so that any sales of it go towards its spot on the jazz charts and not the comedy charts. Let's make it the number one. Hashtag get Brett jazzed. <laughs> Alan Stillwell. And someone vandalized the sign, but here comes Alan with vandalism. No problem, I can adapt. Aw, oh, Alan, I'd buy a house from you. I saw a guy at Starbucks today. No iPhone, no tablet, no laptop. He just sat there drinking coffee like a psychopath. And so uh, I ran away from him. Fast. What? He grew a 910 pound pumpkin and then used it as a boat. Bro, that's sick. <laughs> boat pumpkin, boat pumpkin. Raid BlizzCon 2019 is Winnie the Pooh. They can't ban us all. Oh no, they can. Trust me, they'll, they'll do it. They'll, they'll make it work. What are the most profound jokes ever? An MIT linguistics professor was lecturing his class the other day. In English, he said, a double negative forms a positive. However, in some languages, such as Russian, a double negative remains a negative. But there isn't a single language, not one, in which a double positive can express a negative. A voice in the back room piped up. Yeah, right. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Sorry for party rocking. Oh, dude. I'm party rocking in my chair right now. You've done it, dude. Aw, oh, dude, I can't stop partying. <laughs> Imagine having a superpower. That, like, when you say something like that, everyone in the general vicinity, when they hear it, they have to start party rocking. Great power and great responsibility, but I am irresponsible as hell. I'd misuse that power so quick. So quick. Guys, my grandma just turned 113, so I downloaded Reddit on her phone and joined the sub. There is officially a sacred 113-year-old on the sub. Damn. Congratulations, Grandma, you old teenager. So, I'm on my period and my dad keeps sliding chocolate bars under my door and then runs away screaming, Satan has been fed! <sighs> SMH. I Joe mama my principal. So in my IT class, I accidentally made some bat file that lets me access the entire school network, control computers, and shut them down. No freaking idea how, but I did. Soon after, I got called into the principal's office. I went to the principal's office, and he's sitting down with the IT guy. They started asking me how I did it, and I just replied, my friend Joe showed me how. My principal asked me who Joe was, and I said, Joe Mama. I am now suspended for a week for accessing the school system. Dude, what a baller move. What a gangster play. I like that. <laughs> In 2001, a Florida man wrestled a seven-foot bull shark to retrieve the severed arm of his 10-year-old nephew. After saving the boy, the man lured a shark in and reeled it back to shore where a ranger shot it. The arm was pried from his skullet, put on ice, and rushed to the hospital and successfully reattached. What a baller move. It's a... it's a... alpha move. I don't know what else to say, because that's just like... it's just impressive. You know? I wouldn't be able, I'd be crying, I'd be slobbering, I'd pass out. This guy just ran right and got it reattached. Say no to plastic. Hey, Kim. No. What is the most evil thing you've done to a friend? <laughs> Text replacements. Phrase, send nudes. Shortcut, hi. I've broken my fist 20 times. That's because I punch everything. Bam me if you want, you freaking goblins. I'll break me bones and shank you with them. <laughs> Jesus. Mr. Cocky the Cockadoo survives being shot five times in Australia. And now he's out for revenge. Not feeling well? Take a Shrek. I bet you're feeling better. R slash unpopular opinion. The silver award is useless. Take 11 of them. Can you write a whole paragraph without the letter A? I wouldn't recommend it. Honestly, your sentences will just sound wrong. Everyone will notice you're doing something different. Your writing will flow smoothly. You'll use weird words. It's not worth the effort involved in spending time online looking up tons of synonyms which don't feel right just to produce weird, stilted prose. You'd be better off giving up, to be honest. What a baller. This guy just went in, he went for it. Knife attack victim pulls blade out of his stomach and stabs attacker to death. Bro! <laughs> He just gutted him like a fish. Found five dollars in the parking lot. Today's gonna be a good day. I named him Steve. Taking Steve for a ride. Shh, Steve has no idea. Bye, Steve. New friends! My friends are gone. 
Yesterday, my Uber driver told me that he prefers cold pizza, so we'll often order a cold pizza, immediately put it in the fridge, and then eat it the following evening. I can't stop thinking about how freaking mental he is. Adam Pachetti, listen. Aren't you bit? Shouldn't you be talking about wrestling sometime, Adam Pachetti? Get out. Just stop talking about your Uber driver. It's okay. Swear words, because the graffiti in my hometown is getting out of control. Sounds like it, dude. Sounds like you get a crisis. <laughs> I'm an American teenage guy from a very Mormon family. For those who don't know, the Mormon church forbids tea. I have a secret tea stash that I only get into when I'm home alone. And this is my first cup in around a year. Did I do okay? Earl Grey with a teensy drop of raw honey. Oh, bro, you did fantastic. I turned eight on 8888. Frick, I'm old. This literally says the opposite. Oh, hey, it does. Look at that. Thanks, dude. Let me just comment something that isn't a quote. Let me just comment something that isn't a quote from Toe Fungus. I went to my first physics lecture this quarter, and the professor literally told us I wrote the textbook for this course, but I'm going to pirate for you guys because I hate my publishers. Professor, I serve the Soviet Union. Stop asking me for money. Can I have money? Sure. Thanks, Beast. Please do not flush anything other than bathroom tissue. Thank you. Carefully puts turd in pocket for safekeeping. Today is International Women's Day, so y'all better be respected women twice as hard. Well, you know, two times zero is still zero. <sighs> it, that it is. Dr. Barry J. Marshall was convinced that H. pylori bacteria causes stomach ulcers, but no one believed him. Since it was illegal to test his theory on humans, he drank the bacteria himself, developed ulcers within days, treated them with antibiotics, and went on to win a Nobel Peace Prize. Dr. Barry J. Marshall is a medical mad lad, an MML. Someone asked me for a nude, so I sent them a really zoomed in picture of Gordon Ramsay's forehead wrinkles and said it was my cleavage. And then they sent a wanking video, and now I'm in tears, because some guy just wanked over Gordon Ramsay's forehead. And you know what? I don't blame him. I would, too. I would, too, okay? Man's got a beautiful forehead. <laughs> How to effectively fight plagiarism. Anti-plagiarism detecting program showed that I had a paragraph from Wikipedia. I opened Wikipedia and deleted the paragraph from there. Don't cross me or I'll start a band and we'll play your least favorite type of music and become huge, and the name of the band will be your car's license plate number. And you'll look like you got a vanity plate with our band's name on it, and oh my god, you'll feel so stupid. Twitter for iPad. <laughs> Every major city has banned me from using their public transit system except Melbourne, Australia. I have no idea what the breaking point is, but mark my words, I will freaking find it. Michael Caine on his goals. Thanks, Clickhole. Alright, whoever trying to look at my search history is... Oh no, I've fallen for it again. <laughs> I eat oil paintings and security guards aren't looking. Mm-hmm. Julie de Ob you know what? Julie. Julie was a 17th century bisexual French opera singer who once took vows to enter a convent just so she could have sex with another nun, and then set it on fire. When she kissed a woman at a ball, she was challenged to a duel by three men and beat them all. She was a skilled duelist and killed or injured several men in fights. Thanks, Julie, with that history hustle. My family has a technology business, and when my mom started to learn to make apps to support the product, she made a test app first. The whole app was just one search bar that you could type any word and it would do nothing. Unless you search a loser, and then it would pop up with a picture of me from middle school with a bad sunburn and braces. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, son. <laughs> my sister and I had an argument and she chopped the bristles off of my toothbrush. W why? Because that's the deadliest thing anyone can do to you. Hey, look, we got a couple of things here. Somebody once told me, oh yeah. The world is gonna roll me. Oh, I ain't the sharp tool in the shed. Look at you guys. One tree from Anonymous. I hope this tree falls on my ex. We'll do it just for you. My husband pissed me off and think he finna sit in the living room and watch TV in peace. So I downloaded the LG remote app and kept turning the TV off in the bedroom. He came in here and I acted like I was asleep. So now he thinks we have ghosts. You know, I would do that though. Not maliciously, just like for fun, for a prank. Ah, uh, farewell. I'll miss you all. Fractured rib. My unborn baby decided to kick me good morning a little too hard today. He is so grounded when he's born. You can't spell any odd number without an E. Wow, truly disturbing. Haha, <laughs> Uno! Oh no. He spelled one without an E. We're not bored to go around putting these stickers on paper towel dispensers. Voice activated. Say loudly, PAPER TOWEL NOW! and you get a paper towel. Thank you for watching r slash madlands. If you liked the video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from MK. And if you want to catch more of me, you can find me at twitch.tv slash DamianLeeLive. And as always, I'll be seeing ya.